Hey, I'm Cole. I'm Kenyon. I'm Kwame. And I review bad self-help. And we We put put it into into our daily daily lives so you don't have to. All right, so this episode, we're going to do a little bit... um, a little bit into the topic of body image and uh, insecurity around looks, which I know. Oh, we are experts in. Not that yeah. like a fucking mad scientist. <laughs> <laughs> See how how far we can push the human mind. Yeah, <laughs> I know because uh, I know you guys are a little insecure about your looks. Well, right? that's a, uh, probably the understatement of this. <laughs> are you pretty insecure? Great if it cuts are to you, a montage. Are you of insecure us? about your body or your looks? Both. Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, obviously both. Yeah. You think you got a bad body? You work out, right? And I work it out, but it still is like, it's like putting new rims on a broken down car, right? I mean, it's like, you got new abs, but I mean, with you still have the face of Screech, so I don't really know of anything, you know. What about, what about you, Cole? Are you insecure? Um, Cole's transcendent thoughts like that. Cole is on a new plane of existence. I was definitely probably insecure when I was younger, but I... Uh, well, you're also in a relationship, so it's a little different. Yeah. I feel well, like I mean, in a relationship, really- you could just kind of do whatever. I mean, not, that's not really. That's why people get like fat and shit. Yeah. That, that, that's kind of, I feel like, a little rude to your partner. What? To just... Completely oh, balloon. Like. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Just completely, just completely. Do you think that's like a... Uh... I mean, I that's one of the benefits of being in a relationship, though. It's like, what are you going to do? That yeah, is true. I mean, cause one as soon things... as you sign a lease together, you start eating yeah, all the stuff. You, you marry me, I do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> having, I'm having my third plate. Yeah, yeah, what do you mean? I, I wanted the treadmill to impress you. That's over. <laughs> that's done now. So yeah. you don't, you think that's, you think that's really... Is that is that like a justifiable reason to like split a marriage? What if like, someone got too fat? I'd like, like to like, pretend like, to like have we're more. Both, depth we're both steady than weight, that. and then thirty years from now, she's like three hundred pounds. But they're also like a, I feel like a, a different like mindset. Three hundred like, pounds. Like if when you're <laughs> when you're pounds. trying question. to have a nuanced argument, <laughs> it's you just keep no, but three hundred pounds. But like when you when you just let yourself go, I feel like it also says a little bit about yourself as a person. Like who you are as a person? Yeah. I mean, people have, you know, you stop working well, what out. What like, have you just Like your lifestyle out? changes, that kind of shit, you know? Why? Do, what do you mean your lifestyle changes? Like maybe like you're more active when you're younger, you're doing a bit. You're older, like you have kids, you're not going out as much, you might not be... Or you're just depressed because you're with one person for the rest of your life, so you sit around watching reruns of... Of, of of fucking horrible reality TV shows with them and, and shove pizza in your face to fill the void. But it's like it's also uncomfortable being that way. What do yeah. you say? It's, it's uncomfortable. Being it also that doesn't way. feel as good. Like yeah. working out and being healthy actually feels better. Like you feel it does for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, but then also beer and pizza. Probably feel, best feel great. It. But also, <laughs> like, if I had to have, they're, like, they're, my they're last about, meal. They're about equal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. It's like, yeah, working out, all that. You get that rush of endorphins. But I don't know if you've ever just ate a bunch of pizza and gotten super drunk. You're like, the this thing is, is the they're, about, they're about equal, and one takes way more work. Oh, yeah. Like, it takes way more work. I don't even have work. to leave my couch, really. <laughs> if I tip that Uber Eats driver enough, he'll probably just feed me the pizza. So uh, what what are we doing based on looks, Cole? Body image. Um, Yeah, so we're doing... Uh, Trying to improve our looks, trying to improve our body image. So, uh, went to uh, Reddit to do so. Oh, great! Right. You go to yeah, the, the source of all knowledge. You go to, for you sure. go to Reddit a lot, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's a uh, that's our modern self help. You know, that's if that's our modern self help, the species do. <laughs> I know, we might as well call it a day. Reddit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me talk to people that haven't seen the sun in three years for advice. This is a website that used to have a, a racist subreddit called The Chimpire. Yeah, so <laughs> that's, let's that's go what, ask them how to improve my life. That's where you're going. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. I think the step one, get off of Reddit. You already, you already <laughs> do it great. That's but they have a they have a two different like subreddits that are kind of associated with this, and one is Reddit rate me, and the other is Reddit roast me. Would you call Roast Me a self-help I know, subreddit? Yeah, I, I've heard of both of them, yeah. Because um, ro- Roast like Me is they just make fun of you. Yeah, but I feel like it's a, it does um, let you know exactly what your flaws are. Because um, like, if you post something on Instagram you know, or some other thing, Facebook, you don't want people to, to comment on what you... They won't do that, but if you, I mean, if you post some shit and it gets like three likes, like, all right, you, you know what the problem is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know, yeah. you know what that the problem is. It's, it's a very subtle, like... <laughs> That whenever you see like one like it's like it's a like democracy is decided you need to change. <laughs> it's the with meanest. That. Yeah, it's yeah. the meanest shit that that we all do because you look because we all look at it and go, ah, I'm not gonna like. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even though if it's like fine, you're like, no, nah, I'm not liking that. <laughs> not, not that swimsuit, it. buddy. You gotta yeah. change. Yeah, but there's there's like a lot of people that won't like honestly tell you 
Like what you look like or what yeah, needs to be changed. Yeah, but it's not just changed. an honest, oh, this is what you look like. It's like a very creative, mean roast mm. on what you look like. Yeah. It's a very specific thing. But I feel so... Also, rate, I feel, like, so that's, I feel our, like the honesty is... Rate me will do it without the roast aspect. Yeah. And roast me will do it with a comedic aspect. But one of those... Roast me might be better because people take roasts as a funnier joke. Yeah, dro- yeah. Me. rate Wait, me if is I, if meaner. I, but I'm saying people take it as like a... Like if I honestly tell you like this is what you need to change, Eddie, yeah, people like... You get offended by that. Yeah, that hurts our well, soul. If, yeah. if I'm joking, I'm like, ah, oh, you know, that shirt's dumb. Your hair is this way. Yeah. People, they take it as a joke and they go, oh, my hair is kind of dumb. And they yeah, change yeah. shit. Yeah, it's it really is. It's way different to be just kind of like, you look like a thing fucked a thing as opposed to like, you might be completely worthless. Like, that's a harder thing to take. I think I think, I think the roast thing's better. I'm going to call. Yeah. Yeah. So on, on both these subreddits, you, uh, you basically put your picture up um, and then people will comment. On rate me, they'll comment with like a numerical description and maybe tell you like things you can do to improve the number yourself. Is, the number is me. Numbers, bro. <laughs> no, the the numbers, number, bro. I, I'm, I am terrified. That's, that's a little of fucked this... up. The numbers are a little fucked up. You don't like the numbers thing? Well, the numbers in, in general ra- rating people. Brutal. <laughs> rating human beings by number is one of yeah. the, the meanest shit that people do. Yeah, just the fact that it's like, yeah, all your life, all the experiences, whether you're Everything nice or you got, are. Six. That's it. <laughs> six. <laughs> that's all you are as a person. Six. Yes. <laughs> kind sympathetic try tries to eat healthy listener yeah, yeah, fucking two, five two, you're two. that's a five <laughs> brutal dude that being said you can i mean you can immediately tell when you look at somebody you're like yeah i know what you, you're for yeah if you get below six uh, below a six definitely is a sad well that's one of those well, things I that was most, six, most and, people... six and up is like decently attractive but five is like is when you start getting to ugly once you get to like two and two three it's like oh you're you got it's bad what would happen if like ours is all negative numbers? They're all, like, that's a negative five. You need to one go back bad. in your mom's womb. And- you ever seen a one like out in public? I've seen very few ones in my life, but I actually I think that's why the burka was invented. <laughs> <laughs> I think they all moved to Saudi Arabia. You said Arabia like ones community. like out in public, like they should not be in yeah, public. Yeah, yeah. Like they should. Like be. they're all hiding in sewers. Hey, you ever seen one of those mythical ones yeah, just, yeah, yeah. just <laughs> out there? <laughs> the police like, what are you guys doing? You know the rules. Like it throws the handcuffs on him. I remember people, at least in, when I went to college, it's not known for having attractive people. Mm. So they would always, they would always say that their rating system was just oh, like you, a binary, like either a one or a zero. Like would you have so sex brutal, with them? But it's literally <laughs> just sounds like the most unfun place to go to. Yeah, to yeah, to yeah. <laughs> the people are so oh, ugly. God. It's just like it's just passable or not. That's basically. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's like, there's. I mean, they make fun of that a lot. There's like T-shirts. It is kind of an unfun place to be. The University I feel like you're Chicago. saying it so slowly, like you're trying to hide dramatic memories. So, like, it's okay, a little man. bit of an unfun. <laughs> so I used to say it like it was like like it was some some horrific. It's just you being at home on a Friday night yeah. when you're when you're 20. Like they make fun of it a lot. Like all our all our slogans are based around it being a not very fun place. Like like what is that? What produced? Would produce the thing that's sitting in front of me right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cole. Cole's fun. the fun one. He was a fun one. Cole's lady. like the crazy guy at UIC. <laughs> <laughs> He's the most quiet and collected robotic man I've ever met in my life. He was probably the life of the party over there. The fact that he wasn't he had his face just glued to a textbook trying to figure out. Yeah. I don't know. Like the slogan of the college is where fun comes to die. Is that what? <laughs> what? Yeah, that's <laughs> the slogan of the place you're supposed to spend four years and tell your friends and family you got into is where fun comes to die. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a fucking concentration camp. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's supposed to be uh, the, some of the great. You're in. You're in. Uh, a well, you went to school at Auschwitz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fuck? So you paid what? It's sixty thousand dollars to go to where fun goes to die. Fun comes to die. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, supposed to be all about your education. When a, you know, our college was one of the founding members of the Big Ten football. We won the first Heisman Trophy, and then the dean was like, we shouldn't do this, and we cut our whole football program. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, Wait, this thing, this shit sucks. This is awful. Also, yeah. schools, schools like, 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 I'm going to tell you, you know, schools uh, deep in the south side of 55th Street, you would think you would, some of the fun would absorb yeah. <laughs> in the middle of a black neighborhood. Yeah. So you guys, you guys are insecure about your looks? Um... I'm gonna have bad like if I'm like on like a bad day, yeah, but for the most part, not really. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean a bad day? Could like you, there's days where I wake up and I feel like super insecure and like super. Could you handle someone fuck? pointing out all your flaws? I, that, those are two different questions. Yeah. <laughs> those are two. Um, I don't know. Probably not. And I'll, I'll be bad for like probably the rest of that day. But afterwards, I'll be fine. 
But you're trying to do stand up. You just you're supposedly supposed to go up all the time and point. But out it's different point. between. But there is a difference between you making fun of your own looks versus like somebody else pointing out. You know yeah, saying? it's a little better when you get to do it. Yeah, I, I prefer. Like, I prefer. <laughs> I prefer when it's dealer's <laughs> choice. Sure, but uh, but also, I mean, I don't know. I don't really take myself that seriously. Really. You literally yesterday, I was getting off the train and a dude just walked past me and whispered Napoleon and dynamite aggressively in my direction. No way. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that was re- and it, it, he didn't. He said it loud enough so that I would hear it, but quiet enough so that it was just like, like I'm not going to yell this to your face, but I want you to know you look like Napoleon. He said it small enough to where it's like, if you, if you want to start something over this, you can start something. Yeah, basically. <laughs> this is, I, just, I want you to know that you are a cartoon person walking among the earth. <laughs> That's me. You know That's how many me times in my life people have randomly, strangers, stopped me and said ridiculous things to me like a little girl i was walking down the street back in uh north carolina a little girl just said you look like a clown without makeup <laughs> and i was like i'm a person i have to go live my life yeah. and pay for health care and do all little, types of- little children are the worst about they're that because no, they're on and that's how you know it's and there is the worst because like when a four-year-old says it's like oh you that's, this is real you don't even know thoughts <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that is one of that your, is that is just pure truth I've the, also, the five things that you know one of them is that I'm ugly I've been in multiple bars in my life where uh, strangers walked up to me and said I want to get a picture with a Screech or John Ralphio and made me stand up and take <laughs> a photo with them I don't even know who John Ralphio is he's but, the, he's but, the but Jewish it's not an attractive dude. name is he's, he's a, a Jewish looking dude from like a, a Parks and Rec yeah. <laughs> the, the the brother, the weird, like, rich yeah. kid? Yeah. But it's, you're a goofy look at it, and people feel the need to just tell me. And they always think it's, like, this revelation that I've never heard before. Like, every new boss of head's like, hey, you know, I had a cop fucking say that. <laughs> My girl, we got to Raspberry DUI, is like, hey, you know who you look like? Screech. And I was just like, I have handcuffs on. You won. <laughs> I'm already. <laughs> you know, oh, you had a cop say that to you when you were getting arrested? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's yeah. That's that's a shitty thing. It's like, what am I? What, now, if I hit you, I'm shot. Yeah, it, it, it's just like, dude, <laughs> I'm, the yeah, I'm in the back of your car. What are we doing? Yeah. I used to be a little insecure about my looks or whatever um, when I was younger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then what happened? Because I don't, it must have changed on the inside. Well, no, I feel like, I feel like going through the process of balding makes you realize that like things are fleeting like looks and <laughs> stuff like that so <laughs> talking about balding like it's like it's surviving brain cancer yeah, 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 it really is it's like <laughs> i realized every de- day matters and it, it fle- every moment is precious and you my must fourth year bald is when i took god out of my life because i realized no higher power would do something like this <laughs> <laughs> to an innocent i feel like man. it's like boot at a certain point real like i can be attached to nothing and yeah it was a know. complete ego death have you ever thought about just completely shaving I mean, it is mostly completely shaven for the. I like shave it on the lowest setting on my razor. Go to the back and should go everything shaven. But that's like way too much work. You look just like the this default Wii model. (laughs) 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 Like actually shaving it with like shaving cream and stuff is like a lot of. Really. Go to like every morning because you got to do that every morning to have it like the the like Mister Clean look. Yeah. I also don't really like the Mr. Yeah, I know you would really <laughs> like. Oh, I'm not saying it will, I want you to do it because it'd be hilarious. Yeah. You would look like an alien with a very poor disguise. Like, oh, they're, he's not even trying to blend it. Like, I feel like if the best thing someone can say about your look is that you look really clean. That's a dead <laughs> like you t- He's hideous, but that boy, does that man shower? That man, he, uh, he yeah. really rubs between those fucking <laughs> horrible features of his face. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that is why they made Mr. Clean bald too, because like, I don't know, there's it's something like ugly. that's like weirdly like cleanliness about like not having any hair. Commercials are scary, man. There's a, there's a weird eeriness to the fucking Mr. Green, Mr. Clean commercial. Yeah, he does. Those it's are like, weird. He's super obsessed with it. He's fucking the eeriness is when that he looks at you. He has yeah. his eyes kind of like, like s- filth. <laughs> filth. <laughs> I think the eeriness is that they made like this like cleaning product. Have after like, a skinhead? Have like a, not after Call a skinhead. Mr. Clean and have a skinhead as a mascot. And, and but they had to make like a sexy mascot for like women to want to use bleach or whatever. <laughs> like if you watch the commercials, it's just you think, Mr. It's, for, you think it's for women. That's what what they. Yes, of course. Yeah, I, I, I called, is, think about think about that. Literally, almost sounds like a stereotypical fantasy is a husband named Mr. Clean, <laughs> who's just a who's just a buff bald dude who. 
Whose who's power <laughs> is just cleaning the dishes <laughs> after he eats instead of just <laughs> having too many beers and bitching about how your sister's hotter than you. <laughs> Well, they have commercials where he's just cleaning and he's like, has like, that's it. Like that's a like sculpt. That's the ultimate fantasy. That's how low men have fallen. Is we have to, uh, we have a superhero that's just a man who gives a shit. That's, that's it. Well, the, it is, I, not just that there is a lot of like, it is weird how a lot of cleaning products are marketed to women specifically. Like, what's the one that's like, um, like Brawny? What's the one where the, it's like the sexy... The towels that have a sexy lumberjack on them? Yeah, there's that one. There's the one that's like the sexy... Um, Man, I think literally all of them are. Is it the... Is it the... Is it the Swift... Isn't the one that's like a Swiffer or something, but it's like the commercial is like sexy or she's... But almost everything's sexy. Every alcohol known to man is there's like the one a that has the Marvin the Gaye has the Marvin Gaye song song in it. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, well, let's it has let's get it on in it. You know what I'm talking about, right? The commercial. No, I don't. I think it's but, like a Swiffer. But sex commercial. sells. It's like the old because you you. But in the commercial, she's like she's like dancing with like a Swiffer mop. <laughs> like this is this is weird. And why let me tell is you, this... Whatever product you're trying to sell, there's a hot girl using it. I'd be like, yeah, check that out. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, that just seems like I need that in my life right now. Yeah. But one thing is also is that uh, it's pretty. It's not weird. It's it's pretty pretty understandable why that works. <laughs> you saw me cyanide pills. So they have a supermodel was giving them. I'm like, yeah, I'll try that out. So, Mister Clean is probably also like one of the few one of the few uh, bald men in Hollywood. I feel too. You know, he's a cartoon character. Yeah, <laughs> not a real person. Uh, yeah, That's said, uh, so. One of your only representatives so is a not is a cartoon is a so fictional is character yeah, is a cartoon personification of Bleach. <laughs> that's that's one of the you got you got Jason Statham, you got uh, The Rock, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. He is not. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Bezos. He's not a Hollywood icon. No, but he's a powerful man. He was so no, bald. Uh, his baldness I'm, I'm inspired yeah, him to start a billion he's, dollar yeah, company. He, he's, he's, he's on the other side. He's evil. I'm talking bald. about, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm talking he's, about he's Hollywood. He's on some real Lex Luthor I would say shit. bald people make me do feel uncomfortable. They generally, it, I think <laughs> it's <laughs> evil. <laughs> yeah. They make you feel uncomfortable? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Huh? Well, it's not even. It's not even. I don't want to be around. Yeah. I don't hate bald people. I hate like bald culture. I guess is what it is. <laughs> the way you carry yeah, yourself. Well, that sounds real bad. Some, of some I don't hate them as a people, but their culture. Some some racist. Some some bald racist. What's bald culture? What do you say? I feel I'm like it's, I feel like it's like being kind of a gym rat, like very very macho. I was just being the sarcastic racist. You're just weird. That's all it is. You bald. Your hair. Why you got no hair? It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. What it comes down to. I feel like there's more bald black men though than there is bald. Yeah, but guys. there's a different. We carry bald well. No, I just think bald in general just looks more. It's like is this, bald on black. Is this dude good. so mad? Is this dude such a like dude so mad? He he's too tough bald to have on, hair. Bald on black looks good. Bald on white looks. It looks like you. First of all, it reminds me of a skinhead. So it's like you got you trying. But to it say also something. is like generally the same type. It's a very muscle bound person that has like yeah, but. Bald <laughs> I don't know. Bald so, and black. Skinheads aren't is good. that much of a thing anymore. Like all the alt right people have the like nice hair now. Oh, they have that that Richard Spencer. Yeah, they're in Washington. Shit. They don't need to be shaving. They need to go to meetings, <laughs> so they need to have really great. Um, yeah, I did. I, to me, it strikes me as a person that's like literally too like having hair is too feminine for them. You know what I mean? You're being bald? Yeah, not like if they choose to be. I don't bald. think so. Yeah. Yeah, bald people suck. So, I mean, I, I'm glad we really uh, adjourned. This is a very intellectual podcast where we um, handle such topics. So, so uh, the plan is we're going we're gonna to use this? Yeah, so we're going to use it. Um, I think we'll use a combo of rate me, roast me, see what's better. And So, we'll just go to, because democracy seems to be working great currently. We'll have the people decide... The people of Reddit, who yeah. are barely people, uh, decide what that me is and true Kwame. Too. Who the fuck, yeah, I'm like, why, who, who the, the fuck, fuck is you? Reddit to tell yeah, me yeah, what yeah, the fuck yeah. I look like? Rate me. Have you ever even seen a hot person in your life? <laughs> you know, your mom doesn't even can your face. She hands Tortino pizza rolls under the door to your room. <laughs> you write about race science, you fucking losers. And they're yeah. gonna tell me how to live. But yeah, but uh, so rate me. You probably there probably won't be that much traction on your post because it'll just be one person that says really, <laughs> <laughs> just a question. Is that all you got? Come on, because I I, <laughs> looked, I looked at some of the rate me posts and the only ones that really received that much attention are women. That sounds about right. <laughs> well, because I mean, what there's well, probably the thing is there's what, probably one woman on Reddit at a time, right? <laughs> I think it's also the thing of your. If you're some like fat loser on Reddit all day, and you see a hot chick, you're like, oh, well, this is my chance to get yeah, get one my in. time to show revenge. You know, <laughs> it's really like, all right, no, but the there's women a lot, and they also 
Because I looked at a couple posts and I've gone I, on there. We used I, to go on there. It roast me uh, in high school all the time. Put people go on there. Yeah, but on rape me, I saw some like definitely like homely looking women, and there's always be a couple comments that were like ten out of ten. Wow, you're really beautiful. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> They're, they're just like, hey, do you want to DM me sometime? We get, I, where do you live? I'll buy a flight. Like, oh, my God. So, if anything, this will be more objective because men have no reason to lie to us and will probably be sure. very harsh. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Cause there's no... For, the, for some reason, I feel like some people on the Raid Me things think they can somehow, like, connect to yeah, yeah, we get someone. Yeah, there's a, it's on the table. Like, there's, like, a chance. They're you like, know what the saddest <laughs> part is? There's a tiny part of me that hopes that there's a woman that's like, well, I, I want to see this man right now. You know what I mean? They'll find... The love of my life, but I'll probably just be like one fat loser. It's just like Jew, and then that's <laughs> that's it. Yeah, but like, so a lot of the male posts get like one or two comments. Um, the female ones get like two hundred comments or so, um, but they also get like private messages. They also <laughs> they also get bricks through their window whenever they try to yeah. write an article about how video games are sexist. So. <laughs> they get private messages that are like, oh yeah, can you send me nudes and like how much? <laughs> Jesus Christ. So you won't have that. Have you guys um, ever sent a nude before? Yeah. Um, what do you mean? You know, you know, like you sent a nude photo of yourself to someone you were dating, yeah. recording. Uh, yeah. I haven't in a long. The last time I did was in was in high school. I was like sixteen. I never have. Never have. Oh, no. so I never sent the. Fo- I so sent the dick pic. I never were, sent my. You my were face distributing was child porn when you did it. Well, she was. She was sending. She was doing the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. It is. We, just, we got him. <laughs> 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 we throw the handcuffs on. I had to hang so, out with this bass for two years to get him. I wasn't dumb. I didn't put my face in it. I was like, I'm not going to fucking have this shit out here. Bro. I just don't get it. Most, I don't know. I, I I don't think genitals alone are that attractive. So I don't I don't think there's any part of me that ever thought, you know what will win this girl over? Picture of my dick. You know, mm-hmm. Generally, my whole personality <laughs> is me making up for my penis. Well, so. I, I said it as like a, I guess like a gift. Because she, cause she, sent she sent me a bunch. And I was like, no, I feel like I got to send stuff back. Because I got, because like I got... I got ammo or you. You got to have some ammo. Or me. You know what I mean? How do, yeah, you, how do you respond when you get one? What do you say? How do you respond? You just say when you... nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Solid. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. Guess I'll catch you later. <laughs> how would you even say to that? I'm at, I'm at work. Can you stop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. Still not texting you back. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know. I've, I've never sent. Well, I'd also, if it's someone I'm dating, I'm like, I'll just see you later. Like, why do mm. I need a photo? Oh, you, don't want, you don't want the nudes? No, I'd want to. I want to see like the, to have them. I want to see the nude body in real life. Well, if, first, well so, first off, you use them. I mean, you, you just don't really jerk off to like porn. It's good for like not watching porn and shit. He's like, I got a fucking nude of woman. Okay, well, that's so I, I love being romantic, but if it's t- my time to jerk off, I'm not jerking off to a photo of you. Okay, like. If it's naked? Why not? Because it's like. I can have whatever I want. It's my imagination. I have sex people all the time. Christ. You're telling me, uh, yeah, you you're telling about? me, even when I'm jerking off, I gotta be imprisoned by you. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I wanna, I, I wanna be at least. I can't entertain Megan Fox in my mind. I gotta just, I gotta jerk off the same <laughs> photo of you. Okay, it's insane. That's that's it's control shit right there. You let me, you let me, you let me fly free when I'm jerking off. It's my time. Yeah, and so, but on un- unroast me the. The males do at least get equal yeah, attention get, get as the women. Yeah. Um, they also, uh, when I was visiting the subreddit, they had like links to like suicide resources. <laughs> Wait, on stuff. both? No, on the roast me. Rude. You don't want to. You know, you don't want to. So you mean the subreddit <laughs> is so mean that they're like, oh, by the way, here's a one eight hundred number for healthcare <laughs> professionals. I know after reading these comments, you want to jump off a bridge almost yeah. immediately. I feel like that's. I don't know. That's uh, too much. I think you're roasting a little too much. <laughs> if, your, your roast might be too successful if they're grabbing a noose. Yeah. I feel like, I don't Did that know. that change your personality? Say you went, you went to a bar and you were just joking. You, you roasted and made fun of somebody you so bad himself? that they went home and killed themselves. You know, there'd be a change? sad part of me that would probably be on some level proud. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, well, that was a damn fine joke. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't, it wouldn't change like how you... I'd probably be a little calmer. Yeah, I probably, I probably, yeah. I probably go back probably, to the drawing board. I'd probably board. go to the funeral and I'd be like, "So here's the roast that yeah, killed yeah, him." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Let me see if you guys thought it was funny because yeah, 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 yeah. he, he loved this shit apparently. <laughs> so we're back. Uh, the week, rate me, roast me. Um. I put Kenyon's photo on Rape Me. 
And I put my photo on Roast Me. Um, I didn't do anything with you coming. Why not? You had me take pictures. Because I didn't have a Reddit account with you. So you were spared. So once again, Kwame was spared, like and I have to go to pictures. the flames. I took the I he took you sat there with me. We I'm took just, the I'm just seeing a common trend in this party. You, you took the pictures, bro. You were spared, but I'll rate you right now, and I'll give you a three out of ten. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would rate sure. Kwame. Yeah, two, two, one hundred percent, two. Yeah, yeah. Let's we'll see what they said about you. Oh, probably not great. Yeah, I can't imagine. <laughs> yeah, you didn't get that many comments. You got two comments. Okay, Kenyon. Um, I think your tone leads me to believe not great comments. I, was, I, was, I think that's just. Probably could just sum up what people th- yeah, want. Yeah. <laughs> you got, that, that in itself is a get, review. You didn't get too many comments. Yeah, yeah nobody cool. really cared. Yeah. yeah. One person said six out of ten, in my honest opinion. That's not. A, that's fair. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. And then someone said five out of ten right now, but if you get a haircut, put on muscle, and upgrade your wardrobe, it'll be better. He says your face is generally fine. <laughs> Generally fine. <laughs> see, that, generally. see, that's pretty me. I, I, I think that's pretty... The fact that my face is generally okay is brutal. <laughs> Even trying to be nice with it is mean. He said, hey, I was 5 out of 10. That means I'm 50%. Of, I'm borderline an ugly person. <laughs> I, need to, I need to get... Uh, I need to bulk up, change how I dress, get a hair... Basically change everything. But would you agree with any of that stuff? Yeah, I, w- I, I would look better with, like, my- but also, that day, I will say something about the photo, I have cooler outfits, I got a haircut I remember, I remember when we tried to take the picture, and you kept, you kept begging Cole to, I put on a, to you, give you did, a shirt. What, yeah, I, I was, because I you didn't have, like the shirt you out- I was wearing a, 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 a Chivas Mexican you soccer like a Mexican jersey, soccer jersey. <laughs> because I'm recording the podcast. You looked like you, ju- like you just got, like you, like you had just got to the country yeah, that yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> I was, first I, day I, you know, uh, and, uh. Sound really insecure right now. I am an insecure. Right now. <laughs> so I, I work out where I, I, you know, if this person ever stumbles upon this, I want them to know I'm trying. Uh, got a haircut since then. Uh, I do have a cooler wardrobe, and uh, what well, <laughs> face is generally fine kind of bothers me, and I'm like, because I can't change my face. So someone saying that my face is okay, mo- sometimes it's generally fine. That's, what, that's what, a does it, what does it mean when it's not fine though? Because they're implying that exactly. it's generally. It means it wouldn't fly in like a like L.A. or something. Like a high stakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a it's like a community college face. Look, it stick really... stick to the Midwest and, and yeah. the South, and you're gonna be good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, you nope. know, I happen to think because I've, I've lost City, a lot of weight. I'm trying to. Me. I happen to think that I have a chance. It's yeah, some, yeah. I don't, but I don't know. what do you rate yourself? The thing what do you rate yourself? At even though you lose weight, if you don't have muscle, it's still you. Because I would probably agree with that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think you look. You you're skinny, but you look kind of frail, a little bit. Okay. Like um, and I don't think women like frail. Right. So I think if you I think if you muscled up. This shit this shit is brutal. Yeah. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Him rating somebody is fucking monstrous. Why? What is? I just want to keep, you keep going. You're like you look you almost said, you dead. You said you're you look frail, like a, you look and frail. I don't think women like frail. Yeah, yeah. They don't. That's why they like that stupid dad bod thing. Because they, they like that better than skinny. I think that's just what it shows. But also, play. that's a particular type of woman, right? So, like, the failure, you know. But I want to get a Cole rating, too. Can you fin- finish his rating? Because I want to get a Cole rating, too. <laughs> you wanna, yeah, I, I already said rating. three out of ten. No, no. Go, I, want, I want you to give him the breakdown like you did for him. So, is that it? You, if I gain some muscle by a yeah, I think, shirt? Yeah, I think. And a haircut, shirt. I think he means um, I just got a haircut. shorter the hair, The looks good, though. I don't yeah, like, the yeah, pro is... Show, yeah, show yeah, hair I, looks This good. person right go fuck themselves. Yeah. The hair's cool. Have, so. you, have you tried to have a shorter hair? Because you kind of have... Because you know good. that comedian Drew Michael. Yeah. You kind of have his hair, but his... Mm. I mean, I've had shorter hair He definitely looked a lot better with short hair. I mean, this is like I don't shorter think keep, keep, Fuck that. Keep the front. Yeah, yeah. No, don't let the, first of all, you don't tell anybody what they would look like. <laughs> yeah, with, yeah. With, with, with I like means like, I'm going to intercept you. With, with, with any hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fro, the fro looks good. You yeah. look a little revolutionary or something. Have you, have, you, <laughs> have, you, have you seen Drew Michael with the fro and without it? No. Drew, Drew Michael used to have like a ridiculous... I'm not talking about like having like a sideshow Bob haircut. I'm just like... Mm. It's like a smaller, well kept. This I just got. I'll here. show you some pictures, and you'll probably agree with me. I guess your average was a five point five. Are you happy with that? I mean, no. What do you want me to say? <laughs> yeah, no. That's a that's a. You generally, that's think, kind of you generally think about a six. What do you think? What you would are? you be happy with? Like a six and above. I think about a yeah six seven is. Six yeah. is an honest score. I think I'm a, probably a six. Now, better question: What do you think you could be? I What's could be, the best? That you I think could I could be, be like a seven if I applied applied myself okay. fully. Yeah. You ever reaching like eight status? 
I don't think I'll ever be like a hot dude. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be like, oh, I, let me get a. Ta- I'm too goofy. I'm a goofy looking ass dude. <laughs> so, I, but I think I could definitely. But I, someone tried to describe me once as non traditionally attractive, which oh, yeah. is a real weird way to say. But, but it works. But they were just kind of trying to be like, well, he's a a fine looking gypsy man. All that basically. means, all that. That's just a nice way to say I like your personality. <laughs> that's a nice way to say, hey, you're pretty funny. Yeah, funny carries you a lot. Uh, you, yeah, I know. Funny, yeah, the only be, yeah, you, be a, you could be a four with a ten. Yeah, if, yeah, if, yeah, if, yeah, if, yeah. Decently, if you're decently. No, funny. that's why I, I've only really gotten laid and in relationships after comedy shows. So they're like, well, I'll overlook, <laughs> <laughs> overlook some things, you know? Sure. What do you think you look like on the, the scale? Yeah, over like a six and a half, seven. Well, overconfident there. <laughs> oh, is that overconfident? Uh, yeah, I would say so. You already think you're a seven. I, that's only seven. three points I mean, away my, from perfection. When I'm on my best, when I'm on my best, when I'm on my best days, so it's like best I'm wearing... days. You're three points away from the hottest man <laughs> that is alive. Okay, but there's a there's a drastic jump between the numbers. You know, so there's a drastic jump between like a seven to an eight, an eight to a nine, and nine. To so a you 10 think you're shit. only one point away from like a really like really fucking hot dude? <laughs> is that what you consider an eight? Yeah, I don't consider eight like really fucking. Hot. Well, ten's not not even supposed to be real, right? Eight like, is ten like, is can, like God or something. You know what I'm saying? So so nine is like oh, this person's like fucking hot. Like everybody would agree this person's attractive. Eight nine, is like nine is like Hollywood. Yeah, nine hot. is like y- this is insane. Mm, okay. you, you, you you would use his sperm to like get rid of wrinkles. Well, in if your that's face. what you're saying. <laughs> then what a nine? Then yeah, I'll give myself this. I didn't know that's what we're saying. A nine is well, because ten's not even a real fucking number. <laughs> so nine therefore has to well, be like anything, under godly. What is, the, what is the say? What, what four points away from perfection? at that point well but you know six means that you're that you're one point above 50 percent's a failing grade that's an f dude so i mean so i mean so i mean six just means that you're one point above an a, a, a okay and honestly whatever you say kwame i'm gonna be like oh you really think you're a six <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> until you go down yeah, what do you what do you consider yourself on the scale on the scale yeah they should make real scales like like weight scales where you step on it just gives you your <laughs> gives you where you, where you are at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're brutal. Well, yeah. What do you say? What do you say you're at? I don't know. Between six and seven. Yeah, I don't. I don't agree with that. See, and that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we're sevens. Yeah, 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 yeah. If this is six, you're two and seven. This is six. You should be gods among men. I'm a fucking nine. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm some sort of frail Holocaust survivor <laughs> that needs to get my shit together. You're sitting in gym shorts. You look. <laughs> Yeah, it's just part of my my cool demeanor. You don't look like a cool. You look like you just got done jerking off every time I talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> You're sitting in gym shorts and a shirt that I don't think has ever been washed. There there are stains on the shorts. As well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's from that's from painting. Yeah, that is that's something I've literally <laughs> said before. Yeah, you also you can't <laughs> say that's from painting. painting. Shorts. You can't say that's from painting. If you didn't do that in the last like thirty minutes, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's from, from painting, sitting in rotten gym shorts, four years ago. covered in sweat in your apartment with no AC. It is, it is for the listeners. It is brutally fucking yeah, hot. Yeah. It is. This is like maybe the hottest part. But, but what do people say I think about we would you? Just, the, uh, the I think we would just look at our previous track records and probably. I'm. 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 I'm, I'm, oh, wait, I'm are you? I, I, are you pulling out numbers now? Is are you trying? Gold's <laughs> trying to pull out fucking fucking numbers on us. Trying to be real cool. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm not currently in a relationship. Well, you got that one, Cole. But also, I see that you've kind of let that go to your stomach a little bit. I think you're getting a little, <laughs> getting a little comfortable, bro. I think that we start, yeah. we start pulling out ratings this whole podcast. Yeah, it's falls falling apart. apart. I'm like, well, you're just a fat <laughs> piece of shit. You get out of my face, Cole. Second, this we're like four. This four is gonna try to look me in the yeah, face, yeah, yeah. try to tell me how many yeah. women he's been with. Like we're all like, dude, I don't even care. Well, I'm not into superficial <laughs> shit like that. I'll have you know. <laughs> <laughs> Your fucking extremely human eyes off of this <laughs> six. Uh, what did they say about you and R slash roast me? And roast me? Um, so I posted a picture. I said, uh, 27 year old man with boyish good looks is what I, is what I posted. On the <laughs> Out here lying on the internet. Also, there's no way that you posted that picture and anybody saw it and thought you were 27 years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to, I had to post the title, you know, to get people to comment. Um, a lot of people just called me a pedophile for some reason. That's not you even. Do, wait, you wait, do wait, kind wait, of look like for a some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's, like you it's, have a certain layer of. How could anyone ever think? Right? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of just like a low level like. That's what you go to when you don't really have anything. You know what else is pretty low? You know what else is pretty low? Having sex with children. 
it's, it's pretty fucked also, up. Also, like too. creepy white dudes, I feel like automatically get called pedophiles yeah. for the most part. Yeah, it's like a, I don't know, it's a low hanging, low hanging fruit for roast me. Well, what else? Is I mean, saying? I would, I wouldn't, I would be saying that too if someone called me a pedophile. I guess, I mean, like, they could be more creative. What, what other stuff are they saying? I think they also called me pedophile because I said boyish. Yeah, the in boyish the title. is probably. It, you really were handed it to. <laughs> it, was a, it was a pass. Uh, the top comment says, "You look like someone rolled an egg through a barber <laughs> shop floor." Yeah, that's just fucking. That's, that's fucking a bit, hilarious. That's a good joke. Yeah, my face is pretty spherical. Pretty egg. <laughs> look, that, that is if. If, yeah, <laughs> that is like the most cold way to respond to that. I've ever heard in my fucking life. <laughs> it's, but I, it I knew accurate. that. I knew that from before, and the baldness didn't help that. Like going bald definitely makes it look more spherical than it did before. Um, and then the other comment says with dough boyish good looks. Uh, didn't really make sense. Yeah. Well, they're calling you a dope like your fat. I mean, it wasn't that creative, but I yeah. see what they were saying. Yeah, but. I'm, what are the other ones? There's like, a bunch of comments yeah, I'm seeing here on your laptop. Comments, you're so. hiding some fucking I'm, I'm going down. It says, well, at least you have a sense of humor. That was nice. That was kind of actually a compliment. Um, the other person said, the only boyish good looks around here, there are every other weekend when you get visitation. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, I guess, decent. Um, then a lot of pedophile ones, like 40-year-old man looking for a boy, maybe... Looks like someone photoshopped a face onto an egg. That's yeah. what think about. <laughs> and someone said child bearing lips, which I don't even know what that means. You got someone sense. just said you have zero good looks. <laughs> 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 someone just not even being trying to create them. They're just like you're ugly. That was, that was all they had. I thought, yeah, that was kind of <laughs> just like it was lazy too. <laughs> yeah, some of these they, they, like they, on roast me. You can't just be like, yeah, you're ugly. Yeah, you suck. <laughs> Some of these are so harsh. I'm looking at your screen here. It's like, they didn't try to be funny. You you say 27, your physical attributes say 47. Like, that's just like, oh, you're ugly. And then a lot of people kind of left vaguely racist ones. I don't want a gyro with your special sauce on it. Euro right. says, no, I don't want a gyro with your special sauce on it. And another one says, donor kebab, please. I don't know what those I are. I don't even know. I think they're saying you look Arab That I look like Alicia vaguely you do, you do Turkish look kinda, yeah. or Greek or something. A lot of pedophile ones. And this one says, have you ever seen a boy? I don't think you have. I don't know if that's... Is that is that is supposed it? to be a roast? <laughs> 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 you, okay. pro- you probably somebody, haven't okay, even Okay, okay wait. Somebody here said you looked like a person who shaved their balls for the first time. <laughs> Persian. <laughs> even better. Yeah, so so the common themes, I guess, There's on the roast me. There's a lot of com- Like, he's... he's- <laughs> Scrolling yeah, you deep scroll, there. You there's gotta there's mother. If this I got, was, a, I got a, a decent amount of comments. Dude, dude, if this is like a paper scroll, it would go across <laughs> the fucking blo- like. Yeah, yeah like he's, he's like, oh, it's like one, it's like one and two good ones. Yeah, I'm like, dude, it just, is. There's a whole archive moving past the ones, here. the ones that brought him to tears yeah. and shit. <laughs> a lot of pedophile. I cannot understate. There's at least dozens of pedophile. Ones. <laughs> <laughs> you have been called a pedophile on the internet by. <laughs> <laughs> dozens of people <laughs> yeah you know, like, i think it's low-hanging fruit i don't know if someone saw a photo of my face and like 30 people thought it was appropriate to call me pedophile <laughs> God like, damn it so the i guess the main themes were i have an egg-shaped head which i i kind of already knew i don't really care it'd be great if like i don't even know if that's... just i kind of already knew that as a kid they're just throwing eggs at you it's like... but i don't even know if that's a insult because i mean yeah an egg, an egg shaped yeah, head. they said you looked like an egg was rolled what, across what's, 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 the, what's the ideal shaped head not that but what is it not that but it's just funny it's just funny to say you look yeah you look yeah. like you have an egg shaped head you look like an egg yeah but is that what, what is this bull what is this transcendent bull what is the ideal? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the ideal shape? T- attractive. That's, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. ideal shape. T- what what if uh, what if the egg shape isn't ideal? Uh, listen, I'm gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and say that you're probably not the human ideal. Like I don't I don't, I don't know your body probably isn't the. <laughs> then what is what, what is what is the ideal shaped head? I'm gonna go with egg. It's something that <laughs> you think that it, the ideal I'm gonna go with that egg. No. <laughs> it shouldn't be someone automatically can call you an egg. I'm gonna go with egg. Egg is not the ideal head. What are you gonna go with? You know, I, here's a, here's the difference between you and me, Cole. I hear these it's, uh, my ratings. I might actually change a couple things about myself. You hear how people make fun of you, and you're like, "Yeah, you're damn right. I look like an egg." <laughs> you're like, "There's nothing wrong." <laughs> I'm proud I'm to be an egg. Yeah. yeah. So egg, uh, 
a lot of pedophile comments, but I think uh, really a, a lot of pedophile. I don't. <laughs> we're not underlying. <laughs> it's to the point where I think Cole is hiding something. There's so many <laughs> pedophile comments. Well, I, I think it's because I gave a really, a really. You uh, said the boyish good looks, which was like yeah, boyish good looks, and yeah. I gave a really just like very, like a. Uh, Whatever the, face. You, the photo, again, it's these gray, let me see the gross picture. t-shirts. Let me, let me see the picture again. Turn, turn it toward me. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you look. You look like you have to send that picture to your to your PO every once a week to make sure. <laughs> yeah. You know. I mean, I didn't I didn't try to make it look decent or anything. Um, oh, what? You said if you would have smiled, yeah, the, yeah, com- yeah, yeah. the comments would have been a little nicer? Yeah. And then, uh, so that, and then the third major common theme was I look vaguely ethnic or something. But I don't even think. You know, I also think it was the couch because you took it. It looks like a real third world country. <laughs> it looked like that shit is from the middle of Syria, where it was like, like your your apartment from certain oh. views looks like Baghdad. Like it looks like a fucking war zone. Whatever some shit on Facebook lets you like check in, and she, it looks like that. Like one of those like check in photos. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, guys, yeah. Like, like, guys, I'm okay. Yeah, it really looks like a statistic where he's like, seven forty seven resistance fighters were lost today. So I was looking online and like people. Like the roast me and Raimi stuff has gotten a little bit of a like a, I found like a research paper on Reddit on the roast me subreddit. You're saying it helps or it hurts? Like a like a oh uh, they I don't know what they said, but it's kind of weird to have a research paper. Oh for sure. Because I was reading You're quoting the, Reddit in a, in a research paper. No, they don't. The whole paper is invalid. <laughs> they don't quote it, but they say like uh, so. This research paper says. It's in this paper, we aim to give a socio-pragmatic account of Reddit roast me against the backdrop of scholarship on humor and impoliteness. <laughs> Gee, that's such a very polite way to put a bunch of people calling a dude a pedophile. In the <laughs> it's also, yeah, you probably shouldn't be spending brain power on, on, figure, the roast me <laughs> on figuring out no, there like, should be a, a, why a roast me. student putting hours. That sounds like, I was going to say, that sounds like... The, the, Paper by somebody who is not going to get a job after that. Oh, for <laughs> sure. And as we can see here, calling him a gay wad <laughs> is apparently a staple of online culture. I also found a New Yorker article on it. Jesus. And the New Yorker is like, yeah, journalism is top. The top. Dead. It's like I mean, real, yeah. yeah. What they say about it? Are they saying it hurts or it helps? Um, they don't really make that much. They just kind of go into like why it exists and stuff. Um, because people are mean. Yeah, I mean, but why like, why? Because it is like instead of Instagram or something, it's the opposite of like validation, where you like, like you put your picture up specifically to get shit on. Yeah, which yeah. is like a weird concept in and itself. Like, why would anyone do that? Um, some of the reasons why they thought is because even though you're being shit on, you're still the center of attention. Mm. You know, that's a good point, because it's like, hey, you're, everyone's like, look at me, and they're kind of like making this joke about you, and you're like, I do look like that. You know? I also feel yeah. like it probably makes you feel a little bit better, because it's like, maybe you feel a little down or whatever, and then you have these people shit on you. Like, like you feel down about your looks, and then people shit on you, it helps you laugh about it, laugh yeah, it it's off. Kinda, it could be kind of fun, because I mean, I think a good roast joke is more funny than it is directly just brutally mean. Like, the like calling Cole uh, uh, an egg rolled through a barber shop. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, great. It's like, just so funny that like Cole... Even, even if I was sensitive about that, I would, I'm like, I would that's, laugh. That's just funny as shit. <laughs> yeah. But when they're just like, you, you nice look good. like a pedophile, that isn't... What are you getting from that? What are you... Yeah, yeah. They, you're ugly. You have zero good looks. Yeah, it's like, well, that's just a <laughs> that one, blatant... Okay, but that one did make me laugh. He yeah, said you yeah. have zero. There's it's like Cole was so ugly, they couldn't even write a joke. They were so <laughs> horrified. nothing about you. They just had to write, you're, uh, you have zero good looks. I got nothing to say here. <laughs> yeah, so that's one of the things, like, people, even though they're getting shit on, they're the center of attention. And, like, I feel like that happens in stand-up a lot. Like, wasn't that the thesis behind Hannah's Gatsbury and Nanette thing? Like, her all, like, self-criticism. Um why she's quitting comedy is because she just makes fun of herself. Well, I have, I have very, uh, very posing views on that, but yeah, I mean, that was basically her point is that she felt bad cause she was berating herself. You know Let me give you a star for keeping it together there. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to explode as soon as he, well, it's not about Hannah. Thing. I'm just saying no, in just general, this, this, you're, this, this, you're, t- you're taking a coping mechanism away from people and saying that's a bad thing. So I'm yeah, it's really irresponsible, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I mean, that was her point. Yeah. Yeah. So you view it as a coping mechanism, then possibly so viewing for being sure, funny yeah. as a coping mechanism. Yeah, being funny is my only coping. Yeah, that's that is uh, arguably yeah. one of the only. There is no. Do you think there could be like a coping? So 
in stand up you're kind of making fun of yourself so you're approving all the roasts but when you when you let other people comedically roast you could that be a coping no, mechanism or? yeah i, people I people think laugh. it actually is more of a fun but like if your friends are making fun of you or even a roast by no one that is useless gets roasted right? yeah so well, generally, like, a roast it's, should be fun it's like someone yeah. that has accomplished something and is generally out of a place of like a like a good thing even a roast battle is kind of like but you, you you are holding a microphone. You're there to kind of like be comics and tell jokes about each other. Even if you're being really mean, yeah. which is a space where you could do that, you know. Yeah. So I don't I don't really see it as like a you're making everybody like you're fucking around. You know, it's a difference if I just show up to a bar and I'm like, I think you look ugly and I want to fight you. That's just a totally yeah. different. Yeah. Because you need, I guess, that comedic setting. Because you could, you can't just roast people. Oh yeah. Just, you, you can. can. And we do. <laughs> you can and we do. God damn it. Roast face. people. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Roast people last night to their face. Yeah, yeah, but it's just, it's just. Uh, I just think it's like, yeah, it's probably a context thing, but it's also like, I don't know, if you're so uptight that someone making fun of you, like, makes you fall apart. I think you, that, there's another thing about that. It's kind of like letting, like, like, kind of letting your ego go a little bit. Yeah, so, yeah. I do, I do. This do is coming stuff. though from one of the most roasting people who. <laughs> You do you do roast a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, no, I, mean, I do. I do throw a lot of shit. This is the the ambassador of shit talking. It's like, <laughs> it's, 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 and nothing wrong with the with the yeah, little yeah. roast. Yeah, I really, really are like so, like the the apology department for like. Well, I think it's a great, beautiful coping mechanism. <laughs> we have to transcript everything you said last night. Yeah. Do you do you think there's value in knowing what people honestly think? About you, hundred percent, yeah. Versus comp. Okay, would you want to though? Would you like, yeah. like, if you could read people's minds? Would you not read that? people's minds, but like, like, why would you not want to know what people? If I pulled, a, if I pulled out of my book bag a box and it's a uh, full of papers, it's transcripts of any time you've come up in conversations in the past like couple months. Well, would you depends want who, right? Because if just people hang out with the bar, it's with anywhere. It's, it's any. It's anyone. It's anyone you know. Would you want to read it? Yeah. You want to read it? Yeah. Are you sure you'd want to read it? I don't. I don't think I've. It would be all horrific. No, not that would yeah. be all horrific. But some of it, some of it would be not yeah, great. Yeah, I'm guaranteed not great. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> if uh, so let's say Tinder was uh, everyone left a rating after they swiped left or right. I would would, you, yeah, that'd be would you look that's, at your ratings? That's, that'd be <laughs> that's a little. That's a little I'm, much. I'm not at it. I, that app is just nothing but failure for me. That would <laughs> that, be. That would be some like a some negative, a negative five. That stars. Bagel Boss guys, you would see that shit. All up and down the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking much. It, uh, yeah, I would not want to. But I do think, yeah, for sure there's a lot of value in, like, because uh, y y your own perception so warped to yourself a lot mm. of the time that you really can't get an objective view. You so want somebody... friends, too, that'll kind of... My group of friends back home, we all shit on each other. We all shit on... Like, you, I think that's healthy to have a group of friends who are, like, if you're wearing a stupid shirt, be like, hey, man, that shirt's stupid. Or, like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, I, I'd always take it as then, more cause if you can, Because if you can be honest, because if you can be honest with me... In a roasting way, then like you can be honest with me when like I'm about to fuck my life up in like a serious yeah, way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like micro intervention. You know, if I if you can say like, "Hey, that shirt's dumb. Oh, that haircut's kind of stupid. Oh, that's a dumb thing you said." Then, but I are, then I trust you to be like, "Hey, don't marry." Those that roasts girl. are like, things hey, you don't. can say are things you can change. But what if you're just like, "Wow, dude, your nose is really effed up." But people don't really roast like that for the most part. Yeah, I mean, it, but if in, you're in, a, that in a more if that, is that, in if a more that, comedic if that's a thing. that you that yeah, you yeah. were thrown out on a regular basis. Yeah, you we'd roast you for just saying that. Yeah. That's just <laughs> saying that Your roast shit. example was your shirt sucks. So, yeah, but if I'm just making fun you know of Kwame's nose, I mean, that's, that's, that's just like, oh, he's a dick. Yeah, yeah. Although, nah, the, if someone had a real ridiculous nose, we'd probably go into it like a little bit. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave that nose a little bit. We shit on some people's hair. Yeah, yeah. Roasting Ben for wearing some dumbass shirt last night. <laughs> <laughs> you bet you won't wear that fucking shirt again. <laughs> yeah. I bet you'll learn your lesson. No better, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then there was like some more research into just like roasting in general, um, especially in the under the area of like, do you know the dozens? The what? The dozens. What is that? What is that? It's like a so it's kind of like a black culture roast thing. The but, dozens. Yeah. I don't it, think that's really. I think I've heard of that shit, but that's not. Is that how I read? I read about it on like Wikipedia, but that's not like a real. Th say, explain what it is, because I, I know what you're talking about. It's just like a culture of like roasting each other. Or I've like, heard of it. Like what, what is it? Your what mother it? jokes and stuff like that. Yeah, that's not that's not really a, like a term people use though. In some areas of the country, it's nobody formalizes actually, nobody the terms. Uses that term. 
I've well, I mean, never I mean, just, you're, it's not like you know every term. Yeah, no, what I'm just <laughs> saying, I mean, I've never met a black man who said who's like the like. You just mean like the. Culture I mean, most of, people don't formalize the term that they. You use just mean to like the it. black culture of like roasting and joking. So, yeah, people do that. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. And so some people theorize like there's been a lot of research on especially like that in general, and like how black black men do it because it says they um. It prepares black men for social economic problems they may later face. I think that's a little bold. I think we do it because it's, it it it's funny and I, yeah, like yeah. On, I like shitting on people. Yeah, yeah. I think that's <laughs> literally it. I, think that's, <laughs> I, like, I like talking shit. This will prepare him for the institutional <laughs> <or> racism. <laughs> well, it says being able to keep cool and not take insults personally are things that allow black people to be like to survive in like a white supremacist. Yeah, but I think that's like... That's such a white thing to say. Yeah, that's, yeah right. That's like so to look at ridiculous. it's it's such to a, look at some to, shit. to look at like a fun activity and be like they're doing that because they institutionalize you know racism saying? and not be that's like such, oh, that's you, such a, like you a get white, to have a personality. A white boring. This fucking, isn't yeah. this isn't coming from white people though. Like they they say like because if you but the study making it like a scientific yeah, study yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just some cool it's some cool shit yeah people like to talk shit and have fun because it's yeah. fucking cool and, and then you know you don't think you should study that though like. The reasons behind it, like why it. I don't think there's a, in, I'm, Okay, I'm not saying you in, shouldn't stop, but that is very much a white study. <laughs> that is the, way, the way that is written. the whitest way to be, like, because even, uh, like, I remember just like talking about like just differences, like having a Hispanic family and a white family, and I remember a friend being like, "Do you think it's like because like like communities that are like oppressed or tired together?" I'm like, "No, I just think they're fun. I just think you have fun. there doesn't need to be some trauma." For someone to make good food and hang out with some, they're just, that's just a good hang. But they're, not, they're saying, like, if you flew off the handle anytime someone insulted you, like, in a white supremacist community. But, but a lot of white dudes will, hang out. Was, I, know, I know niggas who will fly off the handle if someone insults like, like, I know people like that. Like, you're more likely to get, like, killed by police or killed or just, like. But that's such a ridiculous, like, yeah, like that, I, I know, like I, know black, I know niggas to, who will, if they get insulted like that, they will flip out. So it's not like that's some, like. There's a total difference between your like friends I'm walking fun down the street in a black officer. suit of armor and no, no, <laughs> nothing can fucking touch yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> so there is, that's just like one of the theories of like why it exists and stuff like roasting. Yeah, I do. I, I mean, I, I like it because it's fun. Also, we used to shit on people in, in elementary yeah. school, high school. I, used, I, got, I remember I got in trouble in elementary school for, uh, I'll say his name, uh, Connor Nixon. I shit on his, telling yo mama jokes every day for like, like, for like maybe like two weeks straight. You made it like, sound like you were being joking. really brave by saying a name yeah, yeah, of like some name elementary. Yeah, anonymous whatever. person. I used to some show elementary school I used kid. To show, I used, yeah. what, whatever. So, so I'd show up every day and at lunch we'd tell your mama jokes and I just, it was like two weeks straight we just focused on him and just started shutting down him. Your mama jokes every single day and then he went to the principal and got us in trouble. I mean, that was bullying. Like, not that, bullying. That, that wasn't roasting. Would have, would have, Come not on. It's not bullying. It was bullying. just two weeks wait. We shit on this one guy. We, okay, we yeah, would do, yeah, you really, we would you do really your mama joke. I was talking about Joey around your friends. You're like, yeah, we harass. We had a campaign nah, of harassment. You sat at our lunch table. We used to do. So we, we sat every day. Let me finish our day, day, finish our, We did not bully him. Because we, we, we just we used said to have, right here. We used to have your mama joke contest. So he officially we used to, we used sought, to keep uh, he sought the administration. We used to keep. We would challenge him every day after your mama joke contest. And you know, just so I throw one out, and then you're supposed to throw one out, but he wouldn't throw it. So then you so, just so this guy didn't want to participate. So, you lose, in it, so you made fun of him every day. We're trying to build, we're trying to build some character. Okay, so he's a bully. We're not <laughs> yeah. bullying. You know, the great thing is this guy's probably doing great. We're you're not bullying. Here, you're over we did here. not bully. And we, I like how you bully. thought you were being brave. You just threw out his name too, we're and not, you were the bully. We were <laughs> not <laughs> bully. <laughs> you like you were the victim too. You're like this piece of shit wrong me we were now bullying all i did was was systematic so you never, you never did, did show like that in school uh i mean i, ne I never really had that uh, this might strike you as weird i never really was uh had the confidence to just outright bully people we never bullied i wasn't yeah. a bully that was classic bu he went to the principal yeah yeah i mean what's <laughs> what you do when you're bullying